So the TimPix project is uh, a project where we're taking data from a little chip on the International Space Station uh, that records the radiation on the International Space Station. One of the most amazing things my students found out, Miles, um, he, he was looking at the data, we were all discussing the data, but he just suddenly perked up in one of our sessions and said, Oh look, there's a minus one there. What does that mean? Why does it say there's minus one energy here? And we looked at the data and thought, I don't know. You can't have negative energy. And basically what he'd noticed that was that when nothing hit the detector... But where you would expect to see zero with no radiation hits, we're actually minus one. Now, if nothing hits the detector, you're not going to get a negative voltage kind of put onto this chip. So we emailed um, Laura at the Institute for Research and School and her response was, oh, I better get in contact with, with NASA. I've got to say, it's pretty cool. Like, you can tell your friends. I just emailed NASA and they're looking at the graphs that I've made. Initially they said, oh, I th we know about this problem. And, and, and quite rightly, they, they'd come across this before. But they didn't realise how common they were. They were coming out maybe once, twice a day, rather than once or twice a year. And they asked us to highlight, during Tim Peake's six months up there, what and where that had occurred. So we made these charts, and we made them of, um, we made them of the really low, ba uh, low bands of energy, and then we made them going all the way through. Um, that took a very long time. <laughs> that was a lot, a lot of people doing a lot of effort of uh, copying and pasting, really. So that was quite nice, the students had really picked up on something. Me and all my friends is, uh, we're, we're just like A-level physics students and we're just looking at a piece of data but we are in a way on the cutting edge of you know, physics research.